What's going on, guys? Welcome back in, finally, to a playthrough of Anno 1800 here on the channel. I am very, very excited for this. Uh, it has been almost a year since I recorded anything for YouTube for Anno 1800. I've done a little bit of stuff over on Twitch and uploaded some of that here to YouTube. But it has been a very, very long time since we have had an actual playthrough series. So what is this series going to be, do you ask? Well, if you watched my last video about the custom mod that I was sent with a Crown Falls in the old world, including Old Nate, well, that's what this is going to be based on. Crown Falls, old world, one million population, uh, going for that yet again. We got really close in the last one I did. I just got a little bored of it because of some decisions I made along the way about including certain AI that were just being more of a pain to deal with than what I was interested in. And just, I don't know, I just I just wasn't feeling it anymore with that particular one. But this one I am really, really excited for. So let's lay out a couple of kind of goals, basically, and things about this playthrough that you need to know going into it. First of all, this series is going to be put out once or twice a week, one to two videos per week. That's about right now all I can dedicate to doing. I cannot do daily videos. I'm sorry. One to two videos a week is about all I'm going to be able to manage and what you guys are going to get. This first video will be full unedited gameplay from settling the island up until probably going to the new world. So. Farmers up through Artisan area is what my plan is. Unedited, about one hour, roughly. And after that, every subsequent video is going to be a mixture of time lapse with commentaries and just flat out cut. So I'm just going to cut some stuff out and then we'll come back and look at what I did. So a mixture of commentary, time lapse and edits. All right. So I hope that will satisfy those of you who like to see time lapses, those of you who just want to see cuts uh, and uh, everything in between. I'm going to try to make everybody happy if I possibly can. So that is the goal for the videos themselves. Uh, all DLC will be active and utilized with the exception of Empire of the Skies. That's going to be a little tweak right there. And with Empire of the Skies, we're only doing local mail. Okay. I'm not going to deal with the headache and aggravation of trying to manage regional and international mail on a hundreds of thousands million population. It's not worth it, okay? I don't have all day. I, I don't have nine hours to sit and try to get mail working. Uh, my time is a little more limited than that. So we're just going to be doing local mail only. Uh, no AI to start. So no AI will be added at the start of the game. However, using the AI shipyard mod, I will be adding a couple of AI later on. Once I kind of have a groove going and a flow going with the gameplay, We'll be adding some AI for a little bit of spice. Uh, however, the AI are going to be added for, you know, the flavor of having some more interaction in the game, uh, some other people to play with. However, there's no combat focus. We are not adding AI for the purposes of going to war. Uh, that is not the focus of this particular playthrough. Uh, no, no, no war time. So if you're looking for, you know, World of Warships, go find a World of Warships video. That is not what this one is going to be about. And last but not least, as always with most of my builds, I'm going to try to incorporate beauty building into it. I want the city to look good, but we're going to maintain efforts to keep space, uh, space utilization maximized as best as I can while keeping it looking nice and fitting in as much population as I can into a given area again while trying to keep it looking nice. Uh, industry and stuff, I do plan on having some industrial areas of the city, some industry mixed in, as I always tend to like to do. But there are going to be cases where I will have to sacrifice beauty for efficiency, just because we are going for 1 million population. So with that, let's jump over to the settings for the game and see what this game is going to look like. Oh, before I do that, though, I do really quickly need to point out the mods we are using. We are using the World's Fair Adjustment Increased Golden Tickets. Uh, that mod I discuss and go over in my Golden Tickets and Grand Gallery mod. A uh, link to that is popping up in the upper right hand corner of your screen right now. It's also linked down in the description. Go check out that video if you're not familiar with the Grand Gallery and everything and the Golden Ticket stuff. 
Uh, we are using the CF Old World Nate, uh, CF Old Nate Old World mod, which that is the custom mod that I was sent by a, uh, a fellow uh, Anno player to check out. Now, if you are interested in a similar setup with the Old World in Crown Falls, there are two of them that I know of. One of them is called Faux Landing. It's F. A U X faux landing, and there's also Continental Snowflake. Both of those can be found either on Nexus or mod.io. Links to those will be down in the description. Uh, it's just I I prefer this one that I was sent because I like the more randomness of the of the layout of the islands. It looks a little more natural. Some of the other ones just don't feel as natural. They're a little more they're more bland. Uh, it's kind of hard. to. I'm going to flash some images up there. Maybe you can see what I mean. Some of the islands are just too perfectly aligned. So they're out there if you want to use them. Uh, one of them does not include Nate, however, while the other one does. So there are options if you want Old World and Crown Falls. This is just a custom one that I was sent that is just not available publicly. We're also using the AI Shipyard mod for reasons I just discussed. The No Sunken Treasures session uh, disables the Sunken Treasures quest line as well as the entire region of Cape Trelawney. I do this because I do have Old Nate in the Old World and things get funky if you have two of the same trader in the game. It, 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 the game gets confused. So we just disable Cape Trelawney entirely. No going there or anything else. The mechanics are still available from Old Nate with the diving and all that kind of good stuff. So the mechanics are still there. You just don't go to Cape Trelawney. And Picturesque City is simply a mod that uh, changes up some of the engineers and investor homes with a visuals. It's not just a visual mod. Add a little uh, visual spice to the city. So that's the only mods that we are going to be using. No additional mods. We're not going to have a heavily modded playthrough yet. All right, so with that, let's jump into settings. Okay, the settings for this game are uh, the random seed doesn't really matter because we are using a very particular map type. Uh, and that map type already has uh, the island sizes and the locations of them chosen. So the seed doesn't specifically matter for us in this case. Uh, we are going to be playing on a large world size, uh, large, again, island size doesn't matter uh, because of the way the map is made. We will do hard island difficulty for fun. We'll set these right here to medium on fertilities and mineral deposits. You'll see why in just a moment. As for characters, no characters right now as discussed. Factions, uh, we are going to have the pirates. We're going to put them on hard for a little bit of interest in the game. Everybody else turned on. So features, game features are gameplay things. Low income, that's just, I like playing with low income. It's only 20% lower than the high income. So it's not really that big of a deal. It's only 20%. It's easy to make up. Construction costs, refunds, no refunds on, you know, if I have to destroy something. I like building relocation on. Everybody knows that. Trading post restocks, just leave that at common. It's not a, it's, it's a, it's a whatever. It's really a whatever. It, the difference between uh, rare and common is like, I think four, four tons per minute, maybe at the maximum. So it's, it's honestly like a, not a big deal. City incidents on hard. These are things like fires and all that kind of stuff. Quest frequency rare. I don't like to be spammed as people asking me to do quests. Low influence. You know, I'm going to put that in medium. Low influence is a little restrictive. Uh, high influence is a little ridiculous, but medium influence feels fine. Although with New World Rising, we get access to the stadium eventually, which basically makes influence pointless. So it is what it is. So medium influence it is. And uh, skyscraper upkeep. I just like just I uh, let's put that on medium just for the kicks of it. And so that's it. Right now it's at advanced. We're gonna add in some more AI that's gonna get us closer to expert. Some people get really hung up on this bar up here. Like oh it's not on the expert. I don't I don't care. Seriously I don't care. Uh, starting with a flagship, no harbor, large capital. Uh, reveal map on again. This is the thing. Some people get super hung up on. 
Uh, but yeah, reveal map is going to be on because I know what the map looks like. So no, I don't have, I'm not going to be surprised by anything. So anyways, uh, that is the settings for this game. Unfortunately, these settings will not be available to you guys on my Discord server just because I am using a custom map right now. Uh, if at some point in the future, this custom map does become available, then I will release these settings and you can play with these same settings. So with that, finally, let's jump in. All right, guys and gals, here we are in the old world with our lovely Crown Falls. And you can see why I put the uh, resources at medium on this. Just because uh, it does, Crown Falls has everything on it. It's, it's got all the things and it's got all the resources on it right here. However, I don't consider it really cheating because eventually Crown Falls will be covered in a giant cityscape for the most part. So all these resources, except maybe the, the Niter deposits, uh, won't be usable on here. But I do want to uh, be forced to go out and expand a little bit onto other islands. And the slightly harder islands, uh, hard islands, uh, when you choose that setting, it picks ones that have less total building tiles available. So mountains, a lot of rivers and stuff like that. Less building space available. So this is also going to challenge us while getting to 1 million population. We don't have Cape Trelawney to further increase our... Uh, boost our population with two old world regions. We only have the one. So this adds a little bit of spice into our gameplay. So you can see the neutral traders. There's Eli, there's Archie, there's Nate, Kahina is down here, and Anne is down there in the corner. All right, so let's go on and get over here. And I'm going to attempt not to play on fastest speed. It's typically what I do play on. Uh, but for the benefit of you guys, I'm going to try not to. Let me turn that volume down. It's probably a little loud for you guys. All right, let's um, arbitrary first place to grab this site. This is so not stock fist. This, this is Crown Falls. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you lie, game. You lie. This, this is legit Crown Falls. All right. Let's get ourselves a basic layout going here. I am not going to go for the 10 by 10. Um, I know a lot of people love, just absolutely love when I do 10 by 10 layouts. Um, I just get really bored of doing it all the time, you know? I really do. I get super bored of doing 10 by 10s all the time. So we're just gonna kind of go for something here. All right, all that's dropped off. Let's go down to Archie and get ready to buy up some timber. I'm going to go ahead and set a buy order for that. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to do this in a way that also help anybody that's new to me, new to the channel, watch and see how I go about setting up my initial town and everything. Even to this day, there's still a lot of people who are like, you know, struggle with trying to get their initial city off the ground. So I'm hoping maybe this will uh, help a few people out. All right. Mm, you know, I think I'm going to shift you up and over slightly. Now, these things are only showing at 75%. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. We're going to be moving them soon enough. Go ahead and use that uh, mixed tree temperate forest to quickly get them up and running. and They don't have to plant trees. Spend a little bit of cash to uh, boost that up. And just one little tile of road in between is all you need. You don't need these connected to your main roadways. All right, he's already got 11. Let's grab that. I'm going to go ahead and place that last house. It's going to use up the last of our timber right there. Went ahead and placed these so I can start producing some timber. And then once I have this 10 timber, what I'm going to do is build a uh, warehouse. I'm probably going to build the warehouse up here by this first clay deposit and kind of make this a little industrial area up here. Clay deposit um, and what I, I, what I wouldn't say an industrial area, like a raw res like a resource area at least four to six sawmills and lumberjacks. The clay deposit will have two brick makers next to it. So that's going to kind of be some resource generation up there. Um, I'm going to kind of th get our farms 
start it up in this area somewhere over in here and get the farms away from the city. That way I'm not having to constantly move everything around. All right, there's eight. There's my ship. There's 19. Okay, cool. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and do exactly what I talked about. See, this right here will work. Let's drag our road all the way over to here. And thanks to the power of the new multi-move tool, I can just click and drag all of those. And get them moved up here actually where I want them. And again, we're going with that tree painter. Throw down some trees so he's a little happier. Grab these other ones. Move them up here. You could just wait and do this like later if you wanted to. I just went ahead and did it now. So yeah, 16%. Yeah, that's fine. Or 16 seconds. It's fine. Don't worry about making these uh, like actually like even. If they're like a couple seconds off, it's not the end of the world. Grand gallery ornaments. Oh yeah, the graves I bought. We'll talk about the grand gallery ornaments here in just a little bit when I get around to actually needing them. All right. Throw in a couple more houses right there. I don't know why I just did that. It's not what I wanted that to do. All right. Got some fish ready to go. Let's throw down our fishery. And we're about to unlock schnapps and work clothes. So let's go up here where I talked about. We're going to get our initial industry up there in that corner. I do need to leave just enough timber to build a few other things here shortly. I'm going to put a church right there later. And this is not going to be like the center of my town. Uh, just be, if normally if I'm going to do like a center of a town with a bullet, I'll do like a two or three wide. This is just a single wide. You know, I'm not going to make this the center of the city. This is just a, a just an area of town. Okay, let's get some work clothes going now. Get myself a framework knitter. I want to leave a little bit of space right there. So we're going to put that road right to there. That'll work. The reason I left that right there is for the silo later on. That way I can put a silo right here and uh, get double production out of that sheep farm. Okay, here is the next bit of stuff. We need to go ahead and get that pub put down. So let's get him put in. Again, I'm not going to try to centralize him. Well, you know what? I think I'll put him right there. Actually, I will. Then I'll put the uh, church right behind it. I will need a fire station rather quickly just because I did put on uh, harder city incidents. So we'll get that fire station right about there. That will work. Ready for okay. I want to get another, another one of these going now. I'm not over. I'm not going crazy with these guys just yet because I'd rather my, I can buy, I have plenty of money right now. I can buy timber. I'd rather use my coin for other purposes at the moment. Okay, it's time for some big city expansions here. Eh, you know what, fine, go down one. That should be just enough space. Uh, I might have to take that right there out for the church, actually. Old Nate. I think he's... Oh, he sold me some timber, didn't he? I want to double check that. We go right here. Passive trade. Yeah, he sold me 10 timber. Okay, cool. And by the way, I clicked that by this little button right here. Passive trades shows me what he sold. So... All right, cool. Got that. We've got that. We've got that. We're about ready. I'm gonna. I am gonna triple speed it for a moment. I want to go ahead and get these fulfilled. Let's double check this. We're good on everything at the moment. All right. First workers unlocked. 
I do want to go ahead and have enough workers to get at least um, two brick factories and the clay. So I need a hundred workers. Work. That's all, we ask. all right, there's 120. That will do. Let's throw that down. And let's see, where do I want to put that? Let's, let's put that right here. How about? We'll put that there. This is all temporary up here. It's all just temporary. All right, we'll slow things down now. First quest, uh, we got to find the passed out husband. He is at the pub somewhere. There he is. Quality potato sprouts. Okay, that is actually an odd quest item to get first, but that's actually not bad because I don't need that. So I can go and sell that to Archie or get 13,000 out of it. Speaking of which, he has a delivery quest. He wants 28 bricks and he's going to give me 4,400 coins. What I can probably do is buy them from him because I don't want to use up my own. Okay. Yeah, because I, I do need bricks, but I don't really want to give him mine. I need my bricks. All right, let's upgrade some more guys into that. All right. Let's unlock the bread chain, the church. Oh, no, the church will fit perfectly right there. I need to remember that. I need to remember that. Uh, a, a pub. I always forget that the pub and the church can actually fit within a perfect square of uh, four houses. For some reason, I always forget that. All right, so he's there. You know, I may actually, uh, well, curious. All right, you can have that. Hold on. Taka can't do math. Um, they're 50 each. He wants 28. That's 1,400 coins to buy them all, and he'll give me 4,400. So that's a profit of 3,000. It's a profit of 3,000 coins. I will do. I'll do that. I will just buy up his bricks. That way, I'm. I don't have to use mine, and then I'll just give him. I'll just give him the, his own bricks back. Okay. Get a pig farm going again. I want to leave a little space right here for a silo. Two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to try to make it perfect because it's all going away later. There's 21. He wanted 28. Yeah, he wants 28 bricks. That's fine. Uh, I see a quest from Madam Kahina as well. I'm not going to grab that just yet because I do need my clipper. We earned this. Okay, uh, we're probably getting a little low on work clothes. Yes, so we do need some more people in the town. So let's... I'm kind of scrolling around, kind of seeing, because I, I don't want to make one giant grid of a city, which is already what it's becoming. Uh, so I want to shake things up a little bit here. But I'll shake things up. Let's see. I'm thinking. I'm having a, I'm having a thought here. All right, let's do this. Let's start with where I'm going to put in like a boulevard area right here. Okay, so we're going to have a double wide area right there going into the city. I want to go ahead and fill in some of the extra productions I'm going to need. I'm going to go a little low on farmer workforce, but I'm not really worried about that just yet. Okay. 
Throw some of that down up there for right now. Alright. I'm also going to go ahead and grab all of that steel. Because I'm going to need that. Uh, if you are not familiar with how I do things, I don't build the steel works early on. I skip that part. So there's a little extra. So I'm going to leave him here to buy up a few more things. I don't build the steelworks early on. Uh, obviously, in the campaign, if you do the campaign, you have to build a steelworks. They, they, it's a requirement. Uh, but otherwise, I don't do the steelworks because it is very expensive and takes a lot of workforce. And really, you don't really need to build one. You need about thirty steel to get to artisans. So I would rather do that. Okay, still good on that and that. Another thing you probably have noticed that I'm not building is the schnapps. I have not built a schnapps set up yet. Uh, I will later, but right now, again, I've got plenty of coin to play with. And my income isn't what I would call terrible right now. So I'm not super concerned with something like building the schnapps distillery. I would rather get to higher population tiers, which give me more coin overall. Let's go ahead and just continue buying this right here up until I have a decently, until I have this max. I want 50 of each and bring it all back home. All right, there's all of that. Let's get, uh, yeah, let's get a grain farm up and running here. We're going to come over this way for that. Let's set up a new thing over here. Grab ourselves this bakery. How do I want to do it? I think I want to do that. 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 Hmm. Oh, I hate it when it doesn't. I don't like it when it's not square, but again, whatever. It's 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 all it's all temporary. This will all get moved. This just gets it up in the where I need it. I don't I don't care. Go away. Okay. This just gets this just gets me going, so just one bakery for right now. This setup right here will support two bakeries, but I don't need two bakeries. One will suffice. All right, let's triple speed that, get through this part right here. We'll be ready to get the soap up and running here shortly. As soon as this comes online, then we'll also unlock silos here momentarily. Still doing okay on our productions. Wood's a little down, but we're buying wood or timber rather, so it's maxed out. So again, not really worried about soap being low. All right, there's the bakery now. Get some of those goodies in. Our people are content right now, so I don't need to spend 50 maintenance on a uh, church because our workers are happy. Churches also don't give any coin or anything. That's that's not the thing I was looking for. Churches don't give any coin, just plus seven happiness. I don't need the plus seven happiness right now, so there is no point in spending those resources to build that. All right, there's the silo. Let's go ahead and slow back down. Now, I, I do know how to build the silo. Thank you. All right, we're ready for some steel, so I'm going to bring him back to unload that steel. I do see a quest pop up. A delivery quest for some sausages and bread, and he will give me an unknown hidden reward. Don't really like the idea of having to give him sausages and bread, but if we if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I am not worried about it. Uh, Kahina's quest is gone. That's fine. Don't care. I do see a quest from him. A pickup quest for 5k. He wants three castaways that are right next door to him. That's a that's a that's a no-brainer. We will go take that quest. Alright. Again, time for some more expansion here, so let's make that happen.
There is a method to this madness, I promise. Although, is, yeah, that's the right size, okay. All right, I'm gonna take the middle one out. Just just change up some of these these uh, layouts right here. That's where the church is gonna go eventually. We don't build that there. Leave some spaces in the middle for later. All right, cool. All right, time for soap. Now for the soap, actually, let me just double check this real quick. Yeah, getting a little close on that right there again. But that's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and get this stuff right here going. For this soap chain, I am going to build just one pig farm with a silo on it. So I do want another grain farm. Grain farm will go right there. And we will stick a silo on him. Why can I never remember to do it like that? <laughs> Why can I never remember to do it like that? That, 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 that. Okay, that. Yeah, I always, I'm always like, wait, how did I do that? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, I did it like that. Ah, success. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Uh, I'm only going to do a single rendering works and a soap factory right there. I'm going to throw another road right there because it's going to bother me. And it gets its own warehouse. So there's soap. I am not going to sell a bunch of soap to Eli. I don't really need it right now. Later on, I might just do some manual soap trades where I pick up any excess. But I am not, even though I do recommend, highly recommend if you are tr struggling with your coins, to go ahead and build a few soap chains. Uh, they are relatively inexpensive in terms of workforce and everything. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a ton of workforce to get these up and running. And they do sell soap sells for quite a lot at Eli. Uh, he does pay 384 per ton of soap, which normally the uh, selling price is only 96. So as you can see, it's very worth it. However, I'm not really in need of the cash right now. And I would rather just go ahead and get on to uh, artisans. So let's go ahead and upgrade a few more of our guys here. They're ready. All right. All right, we have unlocked beer and the police station. Again, beer is something I'm not going to worry about providing right now. I need something to blunt my rage on. Our guys are at plus nine. Again, decent. Get that soap filled up and then just work our way to unlocking the school. He is going and picking all those up. If you didn't notice what I was doing there, by the way, and I didn't say it, I was holding down shift, shift and right click. There is a, uh, uh, you can queue up waypoints in this game. It just doesn't show up anywhere. So shift, right click, what you want to do. So there's that. There's 5k. I'll take it. Get him back over to Archie to go buy up some more goodies. Speaking of which, he does... Oh, wait, that's not Archie. Okay, yeah, nothing for sale right now. It's just seeing he might have a clipper for sale yet. There's some more timber. All is well. Probably need another framework knitter. Yep, we do. So I'm going to toss down another framework knitter, but this time I am just going to add on a silo. So now this sheep farm can support two framework knitters. I did not have to build another one. We are making a balance now, and that is without schnapps or beer. Uh, again, I could add schnapps or beer into the equation if I wanted to. Uh, I need four schnapps per minute, but that's if I supply it to the farmers. Our farmers are relatively happy. I could just disable that. And then we need three per minute. Uh, that's going to be two schnapps setups. So that's going to be uh, 70 farmers each. Or 70, yes, yeah, 70 farmers for each, 140 workforce. Could go ahead and do it. Probably won't. Uh, I'd rather just go ahead and get on up to artisans and start making a little more cash from that. You can supply schnapps, you know, and I guess we, we'll go ahead and do it for 
for the funsies of it. It is a little more income, so why not? I'm sure some people are like, you just need to go ahead and build it. Fine, I'll just go ahead and build it. I'll put you over here. That'll work. Voila, voila, schnapps. Cool. All right, schnapps is taken care of. Gives us enough. Income dropped significantly, but it will go back up because the schnapps does give us six coins each from each of our worker houses. So we'll get a little bit of income from that. Are you almost there? You're almost there. Good. Okay, so soap is completely fulfilled now. We're at 680 out of 750 to get to artisans. So let's go ahead and just add on a few more houses to the outskirts here. I'm not going to build completely outside of that because uh, I don't know how I want it to look just yet. I haven't quite decided on the total design of everything. So we're just going to add in a few here and there. Just enough so I can upgrade a few more houses. All right, that will get us a 750 for the school. I will need some more steel, though. That is Madame Kahina. I went to the wrong place. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go over there instead. Uh, am I going to be able to do this? I have I have 13 and 8, and I have 14 minutes left. Yeah, I'll be able to, full, to do that. No problem. not an issue. We'll be able to fill that pretty easily here in a moment. See what kind of reward we get for it. Hopefully we get like a bosun or something for the ship that's going to help us with going to the new world. That's going to be pretty important. Oh, I'm never afraid to ask. Yes, I know. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're almost at 750 now. You are almost at Archie. All right. Time for a school, which I need 20, which is what I was, I shouldn't have gone over there. Skipping, missing some time, yeah. All right, grab that, grab that. 5K spent, but that's okay. Uh, really, I didn't even need all the brick, but we're gonna need a bunch of brick here shortly anyway, so eh, whatever. There we go, 517. Okay, so yeah, got 517 from supplying the uh, schnapps. Not too shabby. Could do some lifestyle needs if I wanted to. I could give them some soap. What's that do to our soap consumption? Hardly anything. So I can't give them some soap. Uh, I'm not going to give them flour right now. That's going to require a whole another chain of that. But the soap is something quick and easy I can supply to these guys. Not a big deal. I uh, can't supply anything for them at the moment. All right, taking a look at our productions here, everything is looking pretty good. Slo uh, sausage getting a little low. We're going to need some more of that here shortly, but right now, not a big deal. Uh, bread, again, I'll need another bakery soon. The uh, tallow is showing at less than half percent of supply because I only built one tallow maker. The reason I only built one is because I don't need more than 50% of my soap factory's uh, production capacity. This is a fun one where once the blue bar for the demand on soap surpasses the green bar on the tallow supply, that's when I need to build another tallow maker. So just a fun little thing right there. You say, you know, it doesn't save you much. It, it saves you what? Like, oh, I forgot what's the tallow maker. The, the rendering works. It saves me 40 production and 40 workforce. It, it, it's not much. It's a little something. Okay, now I have enough for the school. Uh, school is gonna go... I guess right there. And just so I make sure I reach my workers decently, I'm gonna go ahead and do something I never do, which is place down brick roads ahead of time 
like legit i never do i always forget brick roads people are always like don't forget to build brick roads and i never do but i did this time so be happy and now i'm, I'm out of bricks all right now we got some brick roads also want to drag this up right there nope where did you oh you replaced that you stupid thing all right you go there you go there and I guess you go here for right now that'll work okay cool okay so school is in place brick roads to increase the range and we are ready for our first artisans now the next fun part I'm ready to call in Paloma this little button right here, Call Paloma, brings in items that you have purchased in your grand gallery. And here she comes from off the map in her uh, little airship. She's going to drop off a few items, and I'll show you the items that I'm going to be dropping off in just a second once she is here. I cannot use the items that I want to use at the moment because I don't have any windows, but I will in a little while and um, I'll be able to build a town hall. But for right now, the items will just be here for temporary purposes. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the harbor. A little more storage space in it. Yeah. Okay. So let me slow down right here and I'll take a look at the items that we brought in. So I brought in a Bruno. Again, amazing, amazing specialist right here. We're going to get him into a trade union ASAP uh, for our sewing machine factory. Uh, boost that productivity by 50% and get us some advanced weapons and steam motors that I'm actually going to sell for cash early on. No, not using them in Docklands right now. I'm actually going to sell them for some money at the moment. We have a master craftsman, Frank. He's going to be making sure our fur dealers, whenever I have the fur coats unlocked at, I think it's 750 artisans? Er, 900. Where did I get 750 from? I don't know. 900 artisans. Uh, I'll be able to make fur coats with just iron and wool instead of furs and cotton fabric. Master craftsman, Frank, because everyone loves him. I have an actor gonna give us rum and canned food within range of the town hall, so that's going to be super useful. The mole master is going to go to the new world with us. Uh, that way my tortilla makers later on at the uh, Obrero phase will use fish oil instead of beef. And I have a costume designer because I'm an idiot and I forgot Master Craftsman Frank existed in the Grand Gallery. So we do have one of her if I want it. Or I could just go sell her and get 23,000, so whichever doesn't really matter uh but first of all it is time to head to the new world so let's assign the coconut queen i just noticed the name of the ship that is the best name in the history of names um i am actually going to take one of these specialists for the moment i think i want to take take him let's go ahead and take bruno uh i wish he was a ship item he's not i don't have ship items it's fine uh for food let's grab i don't need 50 of it we're just gonna grab like 30 of that and then maybe actually i know what i want i do want 50 timber that way i can get myself a head start in the new world i don't really care about any of these up here it's the new world expedition you you almost cannot fail the stupid thing so let's get on to the new world. In the meantime, however, we are going to spend a little more time up here doing a few more things. He still does not have a ship available for me. That is really unfortunate. I could really use a ship right now from him. Instead, what I'm going to do is come under here and I'm going to tell this right here to buy up wood and steel beams. Ah, that is ready to be turned in now. 20 iron. You know, I guess it could be worse. Land of Lions is open. That's fine. We are not going to Mbessa right now. I'll go there later. 
All right, in the meantime, let's kind of continue on with some of this. Ooh, whatever that was. Our, guy, our people are still relatively happy, so don't really have to worry about anything with them. Our money's going down because I did just turn in all of the uh, bread that I had. So, yeah, whatever. Speaking of bread, so bread and sausages, I might as well go ahead and get those expanded. All right, let's grab another one of those and let's put a silo on that pig farm to supply that other one. And then I can go ahead and add in one more bakery. And now that is a full bakery chain. Two grain farms, one flour mill to two bakeries. Uh, you need an upgrade, but I don't have enough. Actually, they're all going to need a little upgrade. Uh, instead, for the moment, I'm just going to add in another warehouse. Do I want to do that? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Take it back. Let's get him upgraded first. All right, there's some steel beams. Now I don't have any bricks. We'll go ahead and just tell this right here to buy all the steel beams, too. Really wish you would sell me a clipper right now, buddy. That would be fan freaking tastic. All right. Let's upgrade some more farmers into workers. I, I, I want to leave a decent amount. Oh, I can't upgrade it because uh, it's still a fire. Put out these fires for me, dude. Please. Pretty please with sugar on top. All right. Now, I'm not going to do anything underneath this at the moment from the artisans. Uh, I want to go ahead and get our artisans expanded out some more before I try to do anything with it. Need this filled in so I can get this upgraded. Soon, please. Uh, oh, he's... He's just now going. Oh, that's because the uncharted expedition to Land Alliance is why that that's so annoying. Like, go away. Go away. Are you bothering me? All right, there we go. Now I can. No, stop that. Rebuild that. Thank you. All right. Get upgrade a couple more. Upgrade one more. Start boosting our income up uh, because some of this work, some of this stuff right here, I need to get up and running is going to be a little costly. Sand mine, that's, you know, it's 120, 220, 230, uh, 430. It's going to be 430 income to get the, oh, the window maker chain. And that's just with one window maker. This chain can actually support two window makers, but those things are super expensive. So I'm just going to do the one for right now. Uh, I do need some more space. I need more, need more. I need more everything. All right. Oh, me. Where is another? There's one there, 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 and there. Okay, cool. Let's go over here. And get some more clay going. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Some more clay. That way I can have some more bricks. Oh, he just sold me all the bricks, apparently. Ah, uh, he just sold me all the bricks. Lovely. All right, fish is going down, so it's time for another fishery. But I can't upgrade a number of these guys right here to artisans now. It's going to be useful. There we go. Now our income has jumped up quite a bit right there. Newspaper time as well. Great newspaper. I'm not going to worry about editing anything in it. Uh, no, no, we're not doing dock lands at this time. Uh, photography quest. That I will do. A picture of the school. Easy enough. So what do I get? <laughs> well, that's a that's a one in a million right there. That's awesome. Get a Ferris Al Sarami right out the gate from a artisan quest. I mean, I'll take it. I will take that. Uh, anyways, uh, so how are we looking on everything? Everything's looking good. 
I mean, we're looking great on all of our productions. Everything is in good supply. Uh, the only thing I might go ahead and do, though, is go ahead and add in that second tallow maker like I talked about. Which I can't because I don't have enough steel beams. Please, someone sell me more steel beams. Somebody, please. I have nobody nearby. Are you selling ships yet? He is. He is selling clippers. Are you fixed? I need that. I need, just give me, just give me that. Get me up here. All right. So what's time to do now is slow down, and we're going to start selling off stuff. We're going to start selling off like basically all of our consumer goods once they're over a stock of 25. The reason is 25 uh, is just because it's a simple, easy, low number. I I don't. I'm not consuming a lot right now. We take a look under storage. He's coming by like, hmm, okay, it's really random. Three minutes ago, four minutes ago, nine minutes ago, 24 minutes ago. He's coming around like maybe, let's just say every take 10 minutes, roughly, maybe. If he's coming around every 10 minutes, I know I'm consuming, what, four, two, two. That, you know, that doesn't even really work. Nah, we're just going to sell over 25, just because I said... That math didn't work in my head as well as I thought it would, but so, so whatever, I don't even care. And we're also going to sell, we're basically going to just try to sell everything that I know that I'm overproducing on currently. And just, oh, oh, not buy, sell. That way I can make some quick cash. Because pirates are starting to expand. We can see them down here expanding out and I'm going to need to pay them off soon. I'm going to need to pay the pirates off here soon. Oh my god, this thing's still... There we go. So that gave me... ...hundred and eighty. A whopping hundred and eighty. <laughs> hey, I guess every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. There's a forty-six. Ooh, big, big, big money right there. Such big money. But that's okay. That gives me enough to build this other tallow maker. Let's take him for a moment. Let me grab 10 of that soap right there. It's going to be about 3,000. Let's go sell that off. I got I, I need, I need a buffer of about 40k to pay the pirates off to start. I'm not going to pay the, buy them off just yet. Uh, she's still kind of hanging around down in the bottom corner, but you know, I've got to be wary about that. Once she kind of gets up here to where my ships are, I'm going to have to do a ceasefire agreement with her. I uh, don't need to do it yet, but it will need to happen eventually. Okay. While all that is happening, let's get ourselves our window maker up and running here. Ah, what am I doing? I, I just want this like as far away as possible. Just, actually, you know what? I like the, I actually like the window maker and the glass and the glass maker. I, I like them. What do you want? An, especially an escort quest, but I don't have anything to do an escort with. Oh, but he's selling a ship. Okay, well, I, I declined it. Whatever. Don't come to me with an escort quest, and I don't have any ships to do an escort with. And I really don't want to buy one right now. Uh, anyways, what I was going to say was I actually like the way the window maker and stuff looks. So I am okay with just flat out building it. It is really expensive. Like, oh my god, that's going to cut into my money so hard to build this thing. Ow. Okay, can't build that just yet. We'll be able to build it soon. Ah, there we go. New World Expedition. Scylla and Charybdis. Uh, let's just avoid the Whirlpool and try to dodge it. Fine. Let's go. Let's go! He is there. Cool. Sell that off. That's 4k. Come home. 
Anybody have any quest? You did not. You did not. You do not. Okay. And yeah. No quests. That's fine. Be that way. There's eight steel. I need 16. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick cut until I have everything I need to get our windows up and running. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, jumping back in for just a second because uh, we don't have steel beams unlocked uh, or we don't have enough steel beams at the moment. Uh, but what we have done is we have unlocked a bunch of stuff under the artisans, including rum. That's really important. Okay, it's really important that we have unlocked rum. Uh, because I can start buying rum from Madame Kahina, and she has a bunch of it in stock that I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick manual trade for. Uh, because I am going to get our first shipyard up and running. One of these days, I'm going to make this dock area. I'm, I am going to make the harbor look decent. I, I, I promise the harbor will look decent eventually. It's just not going to look decent yet. All right, I do want to. I do need to get a sail maker going over here for all of this. You know what? Kind of like it like that. And then it will need a sheep farm. Uh oh. Artisans are rioting. Oh crap. Okay. Well. Fine, be that way. I will deal with that. A couple things I want to do then. I want to go ahead and get a church in. That will help there. That will help that. And then I want to go ahead and get that police station in. And the police station, I'm going to do a little quick rearranging. So I want the police station right there. All right, so first riots. As you can see, our funds have tanked completely right now, which sucks. Building all that stuff right there was very expensive, but it uh, it's it's done its it's done its duty. All right, we'll start making some sales. This is another thing I'm going to set up to set to. I'm going to sail the sails. I'm going to sell the sails. Sell the sails. Sail the sails. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of sails. Uh, they they sell for an okay amount. So. Your streets are safe. But I'm I need them for right now because I do want to make a schooner, and the schooner is going to be what I actually use to buy to do a trade route for this. Ooh, please tell me you have a good one. A delivery quest for 6k. Uh, you know what? Screw the rum. We're going to go and do this instead, because I could use some cash. Okay. He has brought everything over I need, so I'm going to stop buying all this stuff and bleeding money. And she wants that brought right up here. Cool. We're gonna tell this right here to sell. Oh, not that button. Sell went over. Is it uh, 20? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Uh, I won't know until 750. I think. I can't remember. Uh, I think 25. No, not 5. 25. Minimum stock of 25 sales. And then I can sell everything over that amount right there. That'll let me get a schooner up and running. There we go. There's another 6K that's going to help. Now. Let's check our New World ex Expedition real quick again. At Preacher. Oh, I can use Bruno on him. I Bruno'd you, and it failed. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Don't care. I lied. Come down here. I lied, I'm sorry, come down there. I need I need you down there instead. Almost have enough sails to build a schooner.
God, they're so cheap. I love schooners. They're so cheap. See, I also plan on... Uh, I, I, since I am going to have Master Craftsman Frank and fur dealers are going to make fur coats so super easy, I'm actually going to use those for selling to Kahina. That's going to be where some of my money comes from instead of the soap. I'm going to be used doing it via fur coats because wool and iron are going to be super easy to come by. So I would rather do that. Come on, nine. There you are. Give me... You got four sales in stock? Oh. Oh crap, stop doing that. Oh, you're unloading them? Okay, cool. Alright, let's see how many of these I can buy. 30. 30 will be good enough to start. 30 will get me started. Um, how much rum are they wanting? <laughs> They're like wanting none. So I'm, this will take me a while to go through it all. That'll give me enough time to build this schooner to go sell or I'm just going to buy the rum you'll you'll make your money back so easily just from buying that rum like it, it's not a big deal you will definitely make your money back so this right here gets me my rum without having to be in the new world so it's going to help my income tremendously she used to be a wreck, but you... <laughs> I love Nate he is like one of my favorites. Okay, I am going to turn that off because that is getting super aggravating. Filter notifications. Just basically turn off all that kind of crap because we don't care. All right, there you are. Drop that off. I did see I had a little more soap. So let's grab that soap up. Take that to Eli. Sell that. And watch our income skyrocket with the inclusion of rum now for our people. And everybody's happy and very, very happy and full of nice, lovely rum. New World Expedition, Sunstruck. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Goodbye. We're almost there. We're almost to the New World anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, there's our first schooner. So you're going to do a trade route for us. Let's pop that backwards. That way I don't get confused. So this is going to be Kahina, Kahina Rum. New group, please. And I'm going to rename that group to AI Trade Routes with a lowercase r, however, because that's normal. Okay, cool. There we go. Now he'll go buy the rum, bring it up there and drop it off, and they will be uh, super, super happy and give us monies. This is ready to go. Always harder with someone at your shoulder and start making those windows. And that's going to uh, take care of all that. Oh, you're over there. You want to sell off all that? Give me 7K. Thank you. Come home. All right. Now, starting to make a little money now, finally. That's going to take care of all of that. Uh, our next goal is to get enough windows. We only need five. Uh, get five windows to get a town hall put down and the town hall is actually going to go probably right about here yeah probably right there where the market is at um so what i'm actually going to do is move the market so i'm gonna put a market down here i'm gonna move this market up here actually don't like okay you know what i'll leave that for right now that'll work i'm gonna move those markets like that right there around uh just so i can put the town hall right in the center let's jump down actually you know what i want you to come over here because as soon as he he's got 31 so i only need 10 you get 10 steel 10 steel and the five windows will give me enough for the, um, whatchamacallit, the town hall. That'll give me the actor. That will also give me a complete supply of rum from the actor. 
I will continue with the schooner, however, going back and forth. That way I can have an, an extra supply of rum coming in for our people. Because I will expand our artisans and engineers outside the range of that town hall. And I only have the one actor. So I will keep that trade route going. Because that will help us out in the long run. He has a quest. I'll look at that quest in a minute. Okay, I just need 20. Thank you. That's all I need. Now, I could also buy sewing machines, but as you can see, they are super duper expensive. And I just don't want to do that right now. Just don't want to. I do want to see what his quest is. A pickup quest for 6,700, and they are right there next to home. Man, we're getting lucky with the locations on these. That is awesome. All right, so by the time he gets back, I will have the five windows. And I'll be able to get this guy in here. Want a little, little something, something in front of him. All right, I think this is the last one. Apostasy, convince the zealots to be more tolerant. Okay, continue. Well, maybe there is one more event. I thought that was the last event. Oh well, whatever. Oh, no, I was right. There it is. Okay, cool. All right, so we are, of course, going to go and claim Manola first. Not a biggie. Oh, God, she's way down here past the pirates. Oh, that's going to suck. That is super going to suck. All right, get up here really quickly, please. And one thing I forgot to bring was the mole master, but eh, whatever. I don't need him anytime soon, so. Yeah, thank you, Isabella. I'm, I'm familiar with who you are. I am familiar with your name. All right, drop that off. Build that. Get the actor in there, and that's going to also further increase our income after I build. <laughs> yeah, right. Variety theater. I forgot. So I need 40 windows and 40 steel beams. Duh, Taka. The actor requires the variety theater. Kind of forgot. I'm sure some people were sc are screaming at me in the comments about that. But, you know, hey, I forget things, too. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, skip ahead real quick while we claim Manola and bring an end to this episode. Okay, Clipper has arrived at Manola, so we're going to go ahead and claim the island here. Boom, easy peasy. Uh, let's take... Let's drop this off with him, and we're going to send you on back home. Manola is claimed we did get Conqueror now, so we have a free, uh, 50 free workforce on all of our islands. That is very, very useful. It allows us to upgrade even more of our people, so we don't need nearly as many farmers. I have no steel right now, so I cannot upgrade into more of that, but it's okay. As far as everything else, sausages and bread, again, looking a little tight. We'll have to expand that later on. Not a biggie. But everything else is being supplied and worked on right now. I will buy 40 steel beams later on once we have 40 windows and I can get that variety theater, which will also give us a little bit of money and some more happiness for our artisans, which will be nice. They'll also get the canned food going and then we'll start working on sewing machines, get ourselves up to those fur coats, onto the university, and on into engineers. But guys and girls, that is it for today. We got ourselves a good start here. We got a little bit of money coming in. We got a decent population right there. We could have more money, but you know, I am trying to do several different things at once, and I kind of play hard, fast, and loose with my money because I know I can make more when I need it. So I don't really worry about it. So there we have it, the start of our first little town right here on Crown Falls, eventually to be a giant metropolis that I will be super excited to see. 
Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below. It really helps out the channel, helps out the video to be seen by more people. Join us over on the Discord server if you want to talk or have questions about anything related to Anno, Anno 1800, the Anno franchise, City Builders, Total War. I don't care. Come over and talk to me. Be my friend. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.